Hey friends, Brian here. So it's another day of working on the garage. Some things have changed though. So what I'm working on today is this wall that I stopped working on probably, I don't know, six months ago. So uh, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna use some extra plywood to get stuff up on this wall, try and get this wall closed up. I have turned the shop around and I made some changes. I was gonna get into letterpress printing I really find it fascinating, but I'm just so busy with other things that I've decided to sell the letterpress equipment. So it's pushed all the way over in the corner where it's out of my way at the moment. I've got too many tools in here. And it's a good thing I never got around to doing the three-phase wiring because I've decided that the Monarch lathe is moving over here. And the Bridgeport mill, which I'm embarrassed at how much surface rust is on it, is moving into the opposite corner over here and that's going to leave me space for my next project that i'm really excited about i paid for it today but i'm not going to tell you what it is you're just going to have to watch and see i got a really awesome project coming up where i'm going to do something i want to do for a while but you guys are just going to have to watch and see so for today <laughs> now that i've given you a big letdown i'm going to work on the wall of this garage and see if i can get it a little further along than it has been and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Remember, you can always search my playlists because I organize all the different things I do into playlists. And no, I have not forgotten about the aquarium for those thousands of folks out there that subscribe to my videos because you like aquariums. Yes, that is in the works, but I need a fish room and that's not a today project and it hasn't been a yesterday project and damn it, it's been too long since I've worked on the fish tank, but yeah, that's coming too. Anyway, stay tuned. But today, it's about this. So, I need to take a half an inch off of this piece of plywood to make it fit from here. And it really doesn't fit there to here. And I only want to go into the middle of this. And then I'm going to trim a section out of this. So, I'm using my True Track saw, which I bought years and years ago. I've got a video on this that you can check out. It's been an awesome tool. It was a lot cheaper than the Makita. It's made in the United States, which. You know, if you're not one of my U.S. Uh, viewers, you know, Tough Cookies, I like to support my fellow small businesses. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So, anyway, I've got a saw that goes with this. I'm going to find this, and I'm going to get this thing cut. I'm going to switch you guys over to time lapse, because that way I can play my music, and you guys can just watch what I'm up to. So, you know, I've been sitting here hunting for a piece of plywood, and I actually need probably two pieces of plywood because this is about 30 inches tall, and um, at any rate, I was thinking, hey, wait a second, all these scraps of wood that I've been saving forever, I think that's the solution. Oh my god, I'm going to get to use a piece of scrap wood. That's amazing. Because, you know, I've only kept this stuff for probably, I don't know, at least six, seven years. I mean, to be able to use it, that's awesome. Because normally I keep it until it gets ruined and then I throw it away. Or I get sick of looking at it and I cut it up and put it in the trash. So I almost feel like I've won this small victory by being able to use a lousy ass piece of scrap plywood. But that's what's going to do it because that'll give me the length and I'm 
actually going to put it in this slot here and we'll see what kind of cost that comes with. And unfortunately, I don't, I don't have the pipes today, but I really need to bring this out through the wall. So I'm going to replace this little stub that's here. Um, and that's not a today project. I don't, I don't have the pipe in. I don't feel like screwing with Home Depot right this second. And really all I'm trying to do is just get this wall closed in so I can call it done. Um, and then uh, what I'm going to do from there is put this heater back on the damn wall for next winter. I don't know. Why do I even bother? Because quite frankly, I heated the, the shop with electric this year. Whatever. It's already there. And gas is cheaper than electric. You know. I live in Texas where our governor and our politicians have their head completely up their ass when it comes to regulating our energy grid. What they'd rather do is sit on the lap of the people with lots of money who run the gas and electric companies. Yeah, lap dance, politi politician style. Anyway, lest I digress, let's, let's dig this piece of crap down and get this done. So I decided rather than use one piece of scrap plywood, two would be better than one. Um, I think there's enough there that I can cut it in strips and just fill in this whole spot. And it's not going to be as strong, but reality is the bottom of this wall isn't going to hold a whole lot of weight. The top is where the it's done. I'm just closing in in plywood because I can know I can hang anything anywhere I want. And aside from being flammable, it's a really durable wall covering. And no, I don't care that it's flammable. I also don't care that it's not ZFCI protected in my workshop because, yeah, I just don't care. So, yeah. All my little armchair critics can have fun with that. <laughs>